So that young man is out here early catching some big fish, likely hatchery style fish. And just notice this as I'm walking towards the hatchery. Stairs that go into it. I've never seen stairs go into a, a pond like that. That's why it's a big unique hatchery from all others I've seen. My aunt Julie used to work at the hatchery as secretary office secretary in an office or something just doing administrative work I don't think she really volunteered to do shows demonstrations I think she just worked in the office I have that much labor required paperwork to do there must be fish in here oh my god what is that Leaves? Star leaves? Lots of algae. There's a consistent beeping off in the distance somewhere. 8 a.m. Welcome. Self-guided tour starts here. Huh. There must be closer parking lots than where I'm parked. I would expect... They really got to light up this spot. That's uh, excessive lighting. No fishing from bridge. Huh. All right, Spooner, Wisconsin, Spooner, Wisconsin. All right, the rodeo is being held across the fish hatchery. I heard a horse, and I look over and I see a bunch of horses. So it's within view, this uh, Spooner rodeo. And also the Economart's within view too. It's everything I need, <laughs> except for the library. Um, is in within uh, everything I'm interested in, mostly within sight. <clears throat> All right, this road is a little bit busy, and I have to cross it. All right, it's not pleasant, uh, but uh, I gotta cross. They were putting fish in milk canisters? That's crazy. Okay, so nobody is here. They got a ton of money. Oh, there's somebody back there, hiding behind the computer. <laughs> All right. That's a big old fish. <clears throat> fish rearing ponds, fish distribution today, bigger tanks. This is really a wild fish. Wild caught. Don't tap on the glass. <laughs> but I want to reassure it that I'm friendly. Man, I know I've been in here before. I must have. I must have been in here before. I don't really recall, though. So we get an overlook of the fish whatever fish uh, transportation put it in the tank in the in that truck from these tanks <clears throat> I 
I don't know what reel is old or new. They're probably all old. Hmm. There's different kinds of fish. Oh, a TV display. This is for the kids. Oh man, wait a second, this is interesting. Is that real? Probably rubber, no, plastic. And specimens of fish eggs, I'm guessing. Huh. Largest muskie ever spawned. And they're squeezing its eggs out. Or not. I've never heard of a fish crib before. Things in here sometimes, and they will oftentimes need access to the internet for yeah. other things. So that's my understanding. And then the oh. employees. Well, well, okay. What's to... what's your what's your position here? Just I'm just the tour, tour guide. Tour guide. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And I give tours. Were you guys Not... here for the ten o'clock tour? Or... There's a ten o'clock tour. There's a ten o'clock tour and a tour. School tour. school kids or? No, no. We just do it. It's like you walk in and um, hmm. if you're interested in a tour. We give you one, and, and they're offered at ten and two okay. on Tuesdays and Fridays throughout the summer. Yeah. So. Well, I I only saw a self-guided tour, and the you know the. There's you know, a sign on the I, outside of the door there. It also to, says that there's yeah. also a guided tour. Yeah. Okay. So Do you take people down? Yeah. To, yeah, it takes about an hour, and basically oh. we kind of explain how everything is done, and we take people down, and there's yeah. no eggs in the facility right now because that only happens <clears> in the spring. So it's okay. like, let's pretend. We just missed it. How long ago? What, no, what I came up here because it's not quite 10 o'clock. No, no, I mean, for the, for the eggs, how long, yeah, did, how long, yeah. when did, when was, when was the cutoff sure. time? Yep. That's, it? um, this year where spring being so late, it was like May. It oh, usually is about yeah. four weeks after I saw it. You know, on a normal year, our ice salt's like mid April. So it's usually like end of April, early part of May. If okay. you ever wanted, yeah, if you ever wanted to come here and get a tour when the eggs are in the facility, just give us a call yeah. like spring ish. You know, okay. it's cool now, but it's really cool when there's eggs in the yeah. facility. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. You, okay. And, and there's no levels. Or, I mean, you must have fish. You have fish out there. Yeah. It's just, okay, the, the, the eggs are only once a year in right. the springtime. Yeah, exactly. See, that, how it works is um, when they're spawning. We'll catch them in those trap nets and we'll oh, strip the that? eggs. Oh. Yeah, we'll strip the eggs out of them and yeah. then we hatch them here. <laughs> have, and you're right, they're have, all out in those ponds right are now. Are you an egg stripper? No, I never get to nope. do that. I'm okay. stuck here. That's, that looks a little yeah, hands on. Yeah, it <laughs> and it's pictures, hard. It's te uh, yeah, it's technical as, too. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, so they do okay. that. So see those ponds out there? Some yep. of them are empty because we don't have enough fish to, but all of the, all of the fish out there, the muskies are about that long. Right now they're okay. That's their stage. Yeah, their stage, okay. and we'll feed them till fall, and then okay. when we when we go get them at fall, they'll be like that long or so. Takes about uh, a few months just to go months. a couple. Yeah. Can you feed them other fish? We do. We feed them little minnows. So, so, okay. Well, did you see yeah. these guys here? Yeah, there's muskies. Yeah. Yeah, these are last they're, year. They're yeah, about they're. Last they're fish. They're a little advanced for. Right, they were here okay. all winter, and they didn't grow a lot but you know they're like in, in october the... they're like that long okay like see see this little guy here they're in between that size and that size and we'll put and, them yeah. in the lakes in the fall oh and that's so, musk must be isn't that yeah ca caviar the, no the... you're thinking sturgeon sturgeon that's right that's that would be what bertha this muskies bertha's it's... a sturgeon she Mu was good good muskies because those, those eat other fish, right? Sturgeons are more right. bottom feeders. Or They're they, oh. like bugs and, and clams oh. and snails and stuff like oh, that. Oh, okay. See your mouth? Yeah. See how it's our mouth is kind of on the bottom down. and it's like a sucker? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah. And you yeah. you have a, one on display as, as they, they, do they grow or have, have they been seen in these areas? Yes. They, that's, okay. Yeah. Are you guys from around here? No, no, we're not. They're from Missouri. Just There's, traveling up 
to this part of Wisconsin? Just, yeah. Yeah. Um, would, you, would you like some candy? <laughs> no, I'm good. The Namakagan River is, let's see, I have a kind of a map. It kind of runs like from Hayward, cuts through the northern part of our counties and dumps into the St. Croix. That's full of sturgeons. I've seen some. Oh, intentional. Not it's, big it's intentional. It's all entirely man. No, no, no. Sturgeons are nat native to the whole St. Croix River. And um, I think the last dam is at Osceola here. Okay. They're up above the dam. They've been here 100 years. It's, it's, uh, so, it's part, of, a part of the Native Americans and, and uh, it's just lifestyle. It's just what was here. So, yeah, yeah. So, yeah okay. Sure. So, all right. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I, I didn't really think that of them to be local. Yep. And then, are. and then you yep. mentioned dams. Yeah. What's the survive? You don't know the sur You probably don't know the survival rates of fish going through those dams, right? Because I, I was on the Columbia River, and there's like 15 percent sur oh. um, death death rates. So 70. Yeah. yeah. You know, most it's of our dams that I know of are more barriers for them getting up. Because, like, if you go out and you go down below this dam here, if you look at it, there's no turbines in there. We don't generate. Oh, you're not. Fishing. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, they used to years ago, but, but now it's just water going over. So if they yeah. go over, they're fine. But and they can't get back have, up. Have you heard of fish ladders? I have. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. They have a lot of those for trout lock out, like out west, so it's they a, can get up around them. It's not. Yeah. Uh, it's not something found around here. Right. It's fish ladder. West. Okay. Yeah. Do you fish quite a bit? No, no, no. I I stopped at a. I stopped at a few fish hatcheries. I'm older, so okay. I, I and I've, I've traveled and stopped at a okay. few fish hatcheries. I was okay. trying to explain to them the fish hatchery that I was at in Missouri, because they said I was in Missouri. And there's this one that has a natural spring that, it's it it's like 80 percent of the water is from this natural yeah. spring for this large fish hatchery, yeah. and then it's like a river because it it flows Cause so it much, flows and yeah. and people are fishing at the end of the right at the beginning of this fish hatchery oh, wow. for trout. On the on both sides of the river, it's just oh, it's, it's very convenient to, yeah. to go to the fish hatchery to fish. Yeah. But here, even though it's a national fish hatchery, you're not so this much is state. Oh, yeah, not national. Well, Tommy Thompson, yeah. yeah, he's a governor. Yeah, he used to be he's, governor 25 years ago when they built the place. So yeah, he did that for himself. Yeah. yeah. Well, we don't have any big fish here anyway. You know, everybody walks in, they're kind of disappointed because if you go to one of those trout ones, you might see the big trout. Yeah. But we don't hmm. keep big fish on site. Okay. Here, so that, there'd be nothing to fish anyway. I saw a kid with like a string oh, with two. Yeah. Well, they go and fish the lake on yeah. the other side. He was there. just kind of around, I guess, working around the, yeah. the lake. Yeah. Or you can go so, down. We've got these piers that are down below the dam. Yeah. That you can you can get. To I I don't have a license or even oh. I don't. Yeah, I I'm interested, but it's just I travel state to state, so it's, it's kind of hard to get a license. Get a license in every state. Sure. I mean, yeah, you you know yeah. Fun fact: If you travel through here the first weekend in June, we have a free fishing weekend. So June? if you ever here the first weekend okay. in June, you don't need a license to the fish. The DNR will... free weekend. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. All right. It's, it's kind of it's kind of a way to let people who aren't sure about it try it to see if they like it, so they don't end up buying a license for a whole year and then they oh, hate it kind of thing. Yeah. yeah. So, hmm. Something to think about if you're ever around. Then. Yeah. I yeah. I, um. That, that's yeah. That's that's nice. That um. And then you guys. Uh, this is nice. You get free, free self guided tours. So. Yeah. But I'll, well, I've tourists, never been to a fish hatchery that costs money anyway, so. Most of them don't. I, There's a new they, one. I, don't, I, I wouldn't. Is there? Is there a national? Isn't there a museum for fishing in what? Yeah, Florida? that's in Hayward. The, oh, the Freshwater Hayward. Freshwater Hall of okay. Fame is okay. in Hayward. Yep, that's, it was that big musky. In fact, I don't even know if they oh, still that's have next that. To that. Now. You've heard that maybe they it maybe uh, get, gotten caught up in a uh, some problem. Well, no, it's that's, that. They used to have the great big fiberglass muscles. Yeah, I've seen yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And but somebody it's, told it's me old. That it was it's old. old. Yeah. So I don't so. know if they were thinking about taking it down from the city yeah. or what. So I don't know. I've been on That'd be interesting. You, it is. you think maybe that uh, it could be? Yeah. And you? Yeah. It's not. I've been through it. Before. All right. Yeah. I've been. Yeah. I've, that's kind of where I want to go. So okay. now, now I have something I'm curious about. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you mentioning this. Well. Do you have do you have any kind of cellular on your phone? No, like I, oh. I used I used to have hot spots. Oh, okay, because I've got like three bars on. Seventy dollars for so. seventy dollars for twenty gigs that only last three months. It's, I, hear you. I was doing free or pay pay a, 
um, prepay or whatever. Gotcha. So I, I gave up on that. No, you know, I, I can stop at places a lot of times. I stopped at museums. Um, um, it's just play, kind of places, not fish hatcheries, but... Uh, just public places. Public, yeah, like yeah. the public library would probably... The public they have it. They're, they're going to have too. it. You could try it. Or you could also just stop across the street and ask, because the gals there have the password. It's like clean yeah. air and water, but there's a bunch of and, like special characters. And that's there. that's DNR. That right? is DNR. You're, you're not... This isn't DNR. Yes, we are DNR. Oh, this is? Yep, okay. we're all state DNR. Yep. Okay. Yep. So... Yep. Yeah, I was, I was trying to think. Like, I, I had an aunt who used to work in this one of these buildings, oh, and I just yeah. I, I'm sure it's a long time ago. Her name is Ju, Julie Thompson, I think. I know Julie. I know Julie really well. We started. She, I don't even know if she's alive. Yeah, yeah. She she's is? still around oh. here. She was basically oh. our secretary at the ranger station, and I worked with her for a lot of years. Oh, a lot of years. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right, and yeah, she no longer. She's probably retired. I'm sure. Okay, so let's look at. I pulled but, up the fresh the coolest things I've ever done. Then you you had like a stick? No, just a, what we did. Okay, imagine like a big concrete swimming pool and there was a fence on the one side, like a chain link fence. Okay, to guide. And so there were like um five or six of us and we grabbed that chain link fence and we pushed them all. So mm -hmm. we pushed all the fish down to the end and then they had this big dip net on a machine. The big dip net would come down and it would dip them out and I was helping guide that dip net and then they'd lift the fish up and then they would they would put them to sleep with I'm carbon asleep. dioxide. It would they'd make them go oh. sleep. Okay. So then they then they put oh. them through this machine that cocked them on the head. A machine. So oh it was a machine, it was made in Finland. And you slid his head in there, and there was a thing that came down yeah. like bonk in it. I should know that. Wow. Well, you you do it by hand. That would before. Well, you know? they, yeah, so it was cool. Because there's, I mean, there's canneries, and, and they, you know, for for uh, making a fish, and sure. in like Alaska, and there, and it took a lot of years to make these machines. Oh, I it. The process, yeah, the, yeah. to gut the fish, yeah, okay. to process them, yep. and, and it took many years. Through the 1900s, they were trying to perfect that. The fish, the salmon. Oh, I love this. You must well, be super I, interested. Did no. you do a lot of reading? Or yeah, yeah. I, that's okay. I'm, I'm actually describing from a book I read. It's, oh, okay. it's called Alaska by okay. John. John um, I forget his name. I'll maybe think of it later. But he talked about the process of. Okay. Have you ever been up there? At all? No, I want. I wish. I, the closest I got was like the, the very northwest tip of Washington. Yeah, that would be cool. I've I, never been there. I actually that's applied cool. to, to work on. Uh, to try to work on a fish hatchery in in uh, Alaska, okay. um, but they, they didn't let me. It's they, you know, a lot of people tried it. Yeah, I it's know. they they would they would I guess they'd ship you over. You'd go over there on on boat and be spend a few months uh, oh, wow. in Alaska wow. processing the fish, the okay. the salmon. It's the wild, the wild caught salmon. Yeah, I've heard it, of that. Like to work in one of those facilities. Yeah, or yeah. yeah there's a there's a seasonal every year they'll they'll advertise. I don't know, like you probably know Craigslist or wherever they advertise. Yeah. You just okay. you'd show up at this place. I, I showed I I interviewed in in um, Aberdeen, Washington. Oh, just, okay. I actually went through the interview process to try to yeah. work, but I you know you kind of I guess you have to really be able to get along with I strangers. It's probably pretty competitive. It, you know, yeah. I bet there's a lot of people that are trying to get yeah. into that. Yeah, a lot of people, and and you have to, yeah, different maybe businesses, different managers, sure. just factories, sure. all all along that that area. Sure. Yeah, sure. it's different. Yeah, and on that coast, it's a lot different than on the Great I Lakes think it's coast. Totally different. Yeah. yeah. And I wish it's, I knew more about other stuff like that, but I'm still learning. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So I failed to record the best part of our conversation when she was like, ah, I got to get going downstairs. <laughs> All right, have a good day <laughs> or something like that. Man, I don't I never knew when that she was going to break it off. But the conversation got cut short when she's like, ah, I got to get going. So I got three of the most frustrating last pieces in this car. This, I'm just filing down this. I got a file at this, I got a file at these three things. 
all I could do is file at them with this, as far as I know, because the bolts are stripped. This sucker, on the other side, I had to take out pretty much the floor to get this thing out. The bolt will not give. And it's risky, but, uh, you know, just to, just to have that little extra room. I could really use that extra room. Uh, the only way I think is to file because I just can't seem to bend it. All right, I've never seen an Amish buggy pulling a bolt before. <clears throat> All right, so I assume that they uh, pulled the put the boat on the dock over here. I don't see no boat though. <clears throat> there may be a Spooner Rodeo, but this horse isn't a part of it. <clears throat> so it's just a single Amish guy out there, and I think it's an aluminum boat. <laughs> He's got his horse and buggy that pulls a, a trailer with a boat so he can fish on, in a pond and spooner. These grapes are coming along nice. Next to the, yeah, all these, he's gonna produce some fine looking grapes. Next to the fish hatchery, all along here, good clusters. Wow. Wildlife drop box, but no deer heads. Freezer by the front entrance, so it'd be on the other side. DNR copy. Uh, application to get them deer. <clears throat> So the fish hatchery has a guest Wi-Fi with a paddle lock. The DNR here has guest Wi-Fi with a paddle lock. And they want to argue that guests really means people who come for meetings, not just people who have a self-guided tour. That's their argument. It's a spotty argument. It doesn't, people, not all... These uh, establishments use that argument. <clears throat> so yeah, I think my Aunt Julie worked here as a secretary, a lady at the um, other place, the fish hatchery confirmed. And yeah, this place is closed, of course. <clears throat> And then the deer heads go in here. Huh. Oh, no. In between the uh, set lid here, in between the bicycle racks, Uh, so it's maybe permits or something black bag to put the deer head in <laughs> So he pushes it by hand <laughs> And I guess he's getting uh, help needed help because he's got to do that by himself Back in his Back in his boat in. That guy just wants to help. Just some old man. Leave the horse over here. And, uh, 
you know, you don't need that horse to back it in. All right. So the old Am Amish man, he, uh, he got, he, he like shoveled up the, the poop and I think he might be taking it back to his property. Has some value, the horse poop. So he put the boat in and then he brings the horse over. And this guy is very curious because this, this is the first time in my life I've ever seen this with the boating thing. Usually they just fish on the side of the a lake, but this this guy actually brought a boat out on a buggy. So this tomb of the unknown soldier looks like it might be like an exact replica of where it, what it would look like in Washington. I'm just guessing. A lifelike replica. This replica of a soldier might simulate the soldier who paces at the actual tomb of the unknown soldier. I'm just guessing. But it just it seems like that would be something to go for. <laughs> Pretty rare. This light is out. Pretty rare to see replicas of these this type of tomb. <laughs> I didn't realize how, how big it would be. I'd like to see the actual one. Now that I see this. I don't even know when this was made. I don't recall seeing this as a kid. No fish in cans, please. Yeah, I think I got gallstones. I'm gonna need to look into treatment for that. Liver problems, gallbladder problems, gallstones that are a lot. I think I come out a lot from just being hunched over so much in my car and pinching off the uh, the transport tubes too much. So after I watched a robin struggle to even land in one of these squares, its its wingspan is too wide to to fit uh, um, uh, and roost on the, the wire so it gave up and just went to the ground but as, as it made me think you know about the elk and fences elk would be like what the heck is this I'm gonna tear it up and try to and try to bend it out of shape and so they could get through elk just power themselves through fence Sometimes they get stuck. I've seen a picture in Washington of an elk stuck in a in a fence that was trying to to root up and move, to tear up and destroy. And it's like <clears throat> I think a lot of the reason elk are not seen in these areas is because farmers kill them off for destroying their fences. Elk destroy fences. They power through everything. That's why you don't see buffalo around here, elk, because they just destroy fences. And they're convenient to kill, because they just, they're, they're these big machines that move slow, that tear up things, anything in their way, and uh, they're easy to kill, unlike the problems with wolves eating, eating up uh, farmers' cows. Wolves are a lot more stealthy and and uh, more and difficult to deal with in another way. <laughs> they'll jump, they'll go through the fence, dig under it, jump over it to get to the cows, while elk will destroy the fences. And, and so there's that, there's that um, discretion there. Well, I didn't expect this. Closed July 8th. So for this uh, Spooner, what is it, the run? They do maybe, I don't know, 
throw out there a five mile run. These people went down are going now down the road that I went down to get here. And I heard that announcer, because I was at the library where they start, he was like, five minutes. And I'm like, oh God, I better get out of here. I'll probably be on the tr on the route. And certain and sure sure enough I I, I am on the route my to get to get to this park so I had to leave early to to beat that because I then I had to go to the bathroom there's porta potty I'm coming out of and started this camera so now uh, the library's closed oh, I guess there's water coming out of this water fountain <clears throat> quite a flow. What a weird water fountain. It just goes to the ground. <laughs> That's kind of rare. Oh, and the horse flies are bad. <clears throat> but I guess this is going to be my camp for the day. No electricity, huh? There's an electrical wire. What? It, it goes to the end. For what? <laughs> But yeah, I'm glad I beat them because I oh just for this light you can't make a plug you can't put a plug in too. That's crude. Oh wait, maybe there's a plug in over here. What is? Yeah, all right. Test that out. Do some uh, video editing here instead of the library. <laughs> 